I'm an addict for sneakers. I'm an addict. Sneaker addicts, we definitely got to speak about these upcoming Air Jordan 11 Easter lows before we get into it. Please subscribe if you're new. Plus, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. It gives permission for YouTube to let you know when I upload a new video so you don't miss out on any future content. Bong, bong, bong. Now, let's get into the shoes. When I first seen images, they looked something like what we're seeing now, which looked so much like the Concord Lows, which I will show you an image of right now. Bong. You see, very, very similar as we get back to the Easters from this image. We've seen this, a ton of us have, I'm sure you have, but we got a better look now. As you can see here, it's got this real iridescent look to it, and it looks way different now that we see images like this. It actually is lit up better than the promo photos we've been seeing circulating on the internet. It has a very similar iridescent look to the Air Jordan 6 All-Star and then also the Air Jordan 1. And as you can see, the outsole of these All-Star shoes, look at the outsole of these upcoming Easter shoes. Looks identical, right? Or am I bugging? Let me know in the comment box. Is Dell's bugging? Leave it in the comments. Let me know if I'm not seeing things or is this basically leftovers from that all-star pack? Because that's what I see when I see it. Am I mad at it? No, not at all. Do I wish it was not a low? Yes, I am just... You know, I always wanted Air Jordan 11 lows until I started buying them. And then once I started buying them and wearing them, I wish they were mids. So I'm not the biggest fan of Air Jordan 11 lows. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't hate them. Will I buy these? Probably not. Will I give you a detailed review? Yes. If you guys want it, just hit that thumbs up button. Show that love. I see a lot of people requesting a detailed review. I definitely got you. This is the Sneaker Addict on YouTube. One of the longest running sneaker channels on YouTube for almost a decade now. That's how long we've been rocking. And I got you. This is not a pickup channel where I just show you what I buy. I try to give you detailed reviews, discussion videos, and much more. So as far as this discussion, how do you feel about this shoe right here? Are you guys going to pick it up or are you passing? Now I'm hearing mixed news as far as the date. Some are saying early April. Some are saying March 31st. This is something I just can't put my finger on. I don't know the exact release date, but I will tell you this. If you want them, you better be on it because I predict they will sell out. I definitely think these are going to fly off the shelves. If they sit, I will be very, very shocked. That is my sneaker meteorologist report like I used to do back in the days. I do not think these are going to sit, me personally. Um, as much as I don't really like them so, so much, I do think they will sell out. A lot of the Jays are moving, and when it comes to a Jordan 11, we all know that's when all the hype beasts come out. And I don't mean that in a negative way. It just means that you're into what's hype, and Jordan 11 seem to always be hype. I have no clue at this point if this is going to be a limited release or not. I have to do research this week and talk to a lot of the managers that run a lot of stores. I know a few GMs that work at certain brands. So I'm going to speak to them, get more info on that, and report back to you guys when I do a detailed review. And I'm curious to see how the toe looks in person, like up close, that patent leather. Because I'm curious if it's kind of like how it was with the Air Jordan 72 and 10s where you could see like a thin layer and it was like translucent and you could see inside. Here's a close-up look at what I'm talking about right there. You see how it was like kind of like a thin layer and you could see like the tumble. I'm curious to see up close what the toe is going to be like on this, like really, really up close. And we'll definitely see when I hit you with that detailed review. So be on the lookout for that. That should be coming sooner versus later. And let me know in the comment box below, are these hot or not? Are you buying these or is this a no look pass? You ain't messing with them. You ain't rocking with them. You ain't with them <laughs> let me know 
love reading them comments and also don't forget we got the sneaker addict t-shirts if you love your sneakers you need the sneaker addict tees support the channel that will be linked in the description box below ships worldwide fits true to size and the retail is very affordable, $19.99 ships worldwide. So no matter if you're in London, Japan, the shirt will ship out to you. So show that support, pick up a t-shirt. And once again, let's look at these one more time. I got to see them in person. As I said, I may have a change of heart. I may see them in person and be like, you know what? I got to have these because it's just like that sometimes. You know, sometimes you see images of a shoe and you're like, Eh, they're cool. And then you see them in person and you're like, take my money now. Take it. Take all of it. Take my credit cards. Take the cash. Take the car. Here's the house keys. I need these kicks immediately now. Let me know your thoughts on them. I don't think that'll be the case when I see these in person. But hey, you just never know. And let me know also, do you think that this could have been a project that was scrapped that they brought back to life with the All-Star Pack, with the Jordan 6 that released, and the Jordan 1 that released, because they look pretty damn similar. I mean, as far as the concept, I mean, it's really, really similar. Plus, another thing that I gotta speak about, I noticed that it's all leather on the upper, the tongue is leather, the Concord that did release, the low version, was not leather, it had that mesh, but a lot of the old Air Jordan 11 lows did have leather. I personally like my Air Jordan 11 lows with the leather upper. I actually like them all with the leather upper. I love I love the Columbia 11s because they have the leather upper. I always thought that was really nice. And some people like the mesh better because it doesn't crease like crazy after a lot of wears. Let me know how you're thinking. I threw a whole bunch at you. Let me know what you're thinking. And if you like this video and you like this kind of content where we discuss sneakers, definitely check out my Patreon where I do an hour podcast every single week. I give an hour podcast. You, the members, let me know what you want to speak about and I speak about it. It does not have to be sneaker related, but... 9 out of 10 times it is. It's usually sneaker related or it is like comic book sometimes or Star Wars related or wrestling related. But for the most part, it is sneaker related. The beauty of it is only the members have control over the show. So you got to join and become a member. Plus, I do a monthly giveaway. And the more members I have the bigger the giveaways. I'm hoping it gets to the point where I have so many members where I start giving away gift cards for you guys to buy sneakers. That is the major goal right there, that I get enough members where I give away sneakers every month. Well, I give away a gift card to whatever retailer you like. So definitely join the Patreon. It supports the channel. And at the same time, you're gonna get four plus hours of entertainment a month with the podcast where we do discussions and you're in control over the discussion so you're basically going to get what you want if you join because you'll be letting me know what you would like me to speak about i definitely think that if you're a die-hard supporter of what i do you will love becoming a member of my patreon check it out join and if you don't like it you could always cancel it's as simple as that that will be linked in the description box below and i will put a link to update you on this shoe eventually once we get closer to the release date definitely we'll have more news about this and more at the sneakeratic.com that's my personal blog where i put stuff that is worth checking out not just filler or shoes that are whack that brands are paying these bloggers to post you know i'm not in pocket with any of these i'm not in pocket with any of these brands where i'm working for them undercover which i actually talk about on my last podcast where i speak about how are some of these actual youtubers that review shoes are they on salary with brands and it's a very very interesting conversation that I think a lot of you will enjoy. It, it definitely is a little controversial. I mentioned other YouTubers in it. No shots fired. I'm not dissing anyone. 
But I definitely recommend you checking it out. Head over to patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. They are only available there, so it will not be on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you left a comment on these Easter shoes, and if you didn't, definitely do so. I'm, I just love reading the comments and hearing what everyone has to say about these shoes. Next topic I will speak about, which hopefully will be tomorrow, is there's rumors that Jordan Brand will be releasing 1 million pairs of the Air Jordan 11 Concord that will be releasing later this year. 1 million pairs. So we will discuss that soon. Much love. We out.